this is the mecca, you know, the big fish. This is where you get it done. It's kind of the dream zone. A lot of people want to catch big fish. For your whole life in Michigan, you'll never see anything as big as you can down here. Uh, I think when you add it up, it's pretty hard to argue that the weight's it's the promised land. If you want to see Predator Street Brown Trap, there's nowhere else like this place. Uh, we're talking, do you really want to catch big fish? He likes me, Steve. He does. He wants to go home with me. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. <laughs> but then I started tying some streamers, and guys would look at them and they'd walk up and ask me if they're shark flies. You know, I use them for trout and I use them for smallmouth. They're like, oh, come on, that's your kid. All those people, everybody was. That how what they were doing. It wasn't a casual thing. This was like oh, everybody's feasting on this big scrap of information. You get a fish over ten pounds in daylight, and that's serious. I mean, that's double-digit fish in the middle of the day are rare. You know, you'll never see enough of that. Want to pick her up one last time? Oh, it's rare. I mean, think about it. How many times, you know, that's a big fish. And then just not, and having your hands full and fighting and being lucky that it stayed in some slack water, because if it hadn't, we would have had a hell of a hard time getting to that fish. We should never have caught that. Falling water, bright sunshine. And I mean, there were people on the boat ramp going home. What a freaking gorgeous fish, and he's jumping all over the river in downtown Bam Cotter. So what do you think of the White River? <laughs> Best in the world. Good one. That's the biggest trout I've ever caught. Almost got two footers back to back right there, so. These fish are smart. They get whipped on a lot. And you also gotta understand, this isn't like, the flies only section of the asabel getting whipped on. This is bait fishermen fishing live minnows, live crayfish, everything they can. Those really big fish are rare. They don't make mistakes often. Right off the tip of the gravel bar, I seen when he hooked up. I said, I said, keep firing awesome. left, keep firing left. It's gonna be a trench bump up. Ah, oh, there he was. This sort of fishing is not for everyone. Do you want to spend three days freezing ass cold, working your butt off, blowing out your shoulder, hauling the name of a fish which may or may not eat? And if, and if any jack wagon walked down the street to go out and get one of those things, then it wouldn't be it. You know, it's, it's got to be, you got to pay your dues on this shit. I mean, all the all the stars got in line, man. And then you gotta put some bitch in the boat, you know. Lots of people hook up. If anyone really deserved a fish for the work they've put in, it was our buddy Chris Willen, a uh, Wisconsin musky guide. Chris has fished here for four years, seen guys catch fish around him. He's a great caster, he's a great fisherman. But it just didn't happen. I've never seen a brown trout in the way. <laughs> I just wish that we could fish a river that had fish. There was a fish in the lower part of the river that I knew was big. Went through the spot, 
made the casts, nothing happened. And then things got silly. <laughs> Four years in the making, baby. How many years? Four years. She's worth it. Oh, this looks rough like that. Four years, baby. Yes! Arkansas. Got one. 27 with a 17 inch freaking girth. Man, I'm so stoked. <laughs> That was beautiful. Right next to the biggest pile of cow shit I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, we hit that fish and we're celebrating sitting on the bank for an hour, you know, or however long it took. I mean, it was 8 million pictures. You know, some guy in his town boat comes motoring up with his rappel and he's like, hell, that's a big one. And, and he's taking pictures to send his buddy. <laughs> I really like the way it's around your foot. <laughs> When I first started, I didn't even, didn't even have a sinking line. I went to Walmart and bought some lead core and tied on the end of my floating line. And <laughs> you are not videotaping. <laughs> Just laying in there. <laughs> Sorry. I got that. <laughs> he knew where he wanted to go. He wanted to go back home. Sleep without no stink bait on it. How do you keep it on your fly when you're whipping it all around like that, boy? Uh huh. I'm flicking around with the camera going. You guys do some fluffing. <laughs> Sir, couldn't have done it without the man on the oars. Suck up. <laughs>